Okay, so we're going to want to distort this a little bit. So we're going to go to Filter, Liquify. And by default, you guys should be on the Forward Warp tool. But I want you to go down to the Bloat tool. And I just realized I have the wrong thing selected. Cancel. When you make a mask, it automatically selects it. So what you want to do is click on the thumbnail next to it, and that will actually have the clouds themselves selected and not the mask. So we want to go to liquify, and now that should be there. And if you want this background to show up, you need to go down here to show backdrop. So you can see that it toggles that on and off, and that lets you see where your uh, distorted little bubble is. Okay, so for the brush size, you want to make it so that it kind of fits your your warped little bubble there. And then you want to set the brush density to 100 and the brush rate to 60. Okay, so now with your bloat tool, you want to click, make sure it's held there, and then just go up and down and up and down a couple of times, just maybe three or four times, and then hit OK. And that's the kind of effect that you should get. The center should be like a smoothed out uh, set of clouds, and then everything should be pushed off to the edge like so. And if you don't get that effect, then just undo and try it again. It'll take you a couple of tries to get it just right. It took me a while to figure out how to get it you know, just right for me. Every, everyone's different. Anyway. So with your clouds layer selected, I want you to take the blend mode and change it to soft light. And you don't really see too much happen, but we're going to fix that up pretty soon. So make a new layer and call it clouds 2. Two. And we're also going to give this some clouds and then randomize it a bit by hitting control F, control F and it eh, looks good enough for me so we'll go back to our pads we're just gonna keep doing the same thing a couple of times select the work path and load it as a selection like we did before mask it click on the thumbnail that way we know we actually have the cloud selected and we're gonna liquefy it again so let's see if we can do it again up and down up and down up and down and hit OK returning liquify result. All right, that looks pretty good to me. So with this set of clouds, we are going to set it to multiply. And that adds some really dark clouds to that. But we want some more clouds. So we're going to make a new layer, call it clouds three. Ta-da! And once again, we're going to give it some clouds. And then give it a little more randomization and go over to our pads select our work path which is our distorted oval click it so we load it as a selection and then we go back to our layers and mask it like we've done the past two times and this is kind of routine by now so liquify put it right even with our bubble and up and down a couple of times Hit OK. And that looks good. So we'll put this one to soft light as well as our first one. OK, so just as a recap, we have Eli Shadow that down here. We have Eli cut out. And then we have our three cloud we <clears throat> and then we have our three cloud layers. One of them is set to soft light. The second one is set to multiply, and the third one is also set to soft light. So make sure you have that set down, in your mind I mean. Okay, so we're going to go back to our Clouds 2 layer and click on the mask thumbnail. And what you need to do is head over to your brush tool and then get a pretty decent sized brush, maybe two or three hundred depending on the size of your canvas. And close that up. And make sure that black is your foreground color right here. And then just paint around 
your character so that there's not quite so much black around him. So now you can actually see him a little bit better. And then you can see over here where we painted in black. And so, what's next? Ah, that's right. What you want to do is select Clouds 3 and then hold shift and click on clouds that way all three cloud layers are um, selected there you go and then we're gonna group them together with control G so see G for group so we're gonna call this all clouds and then if you go down to the mask layer or the add layer mask button there you go and give it a click and again, we're going to have the, the thumbnail right here selected and have our brush tool. And we're just going to paint right here so that it hides that bottom edge. And it, so that way it blends a little bit better. All right. Okay, so the next part's a little bit tricky. So you better pay close attention. I want you to open up your group again. And then you see Clouds 3 right here. I want you to control click the thumbnail again control click the thumbnail thumbnail and as you can see it loads a selection around that bubble so go up here and create a new layer oh we want that above okay and fill it in with white with control backspace because white should still be your background color so again control backspace and then deselect it with control D and then I'm gonna to swap to my move tool because I don't really like having that huge circle on the screen all the time anyway we're gonna call this glow and if you go down to your effects I want you to choose an outer glow and actually just keep it at the default settings blend mode screen opacity 75 no noise and that weird yellow creamish color yeah and then go up to the blending options and they're set to default you know because that's the default and put the fill opacity all the way down to zero and then hit OK and as you can see it gives a little bit of a glow to our bubble but we want to go to this effects icon right here and give it a right click and if you go down here to create layer just give that a click and that will split the glow and the outer glow into two different layers so just take that glow and trash it and if you want you can rename this glow but you don't really have to and then take the blend mode which is set to screen and set it to color dodge and as you can see it kind of blows out our image in the center here so put it in a group with control G and call that glow as well and go down and add a mask to it and then we'll swap back over to our brush tool again it's gonna be a really large uh, very soft brush and close that back up so paint in right here so that you only have kind of an edge around it see how we get that thin edge of gold going in right there alright so I probably did that a little uh, too much and as you can see over here where I painted in black that's where it's hidden and so what I want to do is I want to bring back some of that gold color so we're gonna go down here and swap those so that white is our foreground color and I'm gonna paint around the edges some more so that brings back that gold color and then down at, down here at the bottom I'm gonna fill that in that way you get this nice round glowing kind of look 